people, we are going to be playing. Well, not playing. Um, we I animated. We're well, not really animated. Well, drawed on the computer, animated. Okay. Um, X Men characters are put in a, a list. Top thirty. Here we go. Toad is a mutant with the ability to jump really fast. This is in Pyrrhon, he wears goggles and also he has a giant tongue that he can use to choke. Um, he can also can spit out acid and he can just, just do stuff basically like what a toad can. N next on 29 is Gambit. Gambit is the magician, the, I mean, the magician himself, and also Don't You Dare Think It Out, and all the magical Houdini, Harry Potter, or whatever, Eminem, um, it's Gambit. He can, he, that's his appearance with blue jeans, purple eyes, and a coat, leather coat. He can throw cards that are on purple flames, that are really strong, actually. His power is just to control, like, that, basically, so... That's why I put him in 29. He's pretty cool, but I think we can do better. Next is Banshee. He showed up in X-Men First Class. He's in 28. He has a soup scream, and if you can see there, he, he under his arms, he has yellow, like, scythes. When he screams, he can fly, because Hank m m gave him that. Also on 28 as well, that's equal. And also, um, Pyro is, he joined, um, Magneto's side. Um, he can control fire, but not make it. If you can see, there's grey bits on his arms. And that's to represent the lighter he uses to control the fire and, well, blast it out. It's pretty sick, but I think we can do better once again. The reason why this one doesn't have a name is because I don't know who she is. She only turned up in X-Men Days Future Past. She can, she's, she looks like that. She can, um, throw cards on purple flames that are even deeper than Gambit and make portals. I mean, pretty sick in general, but, again, I mean, we can do better. Next is Angel. Angel showed up in X-Men Last Stand and in X-Men Apocalypse. I think X-Men Apocalypse, the only good reason is because Cyclops' powers, Hank, and also because, um, um, Quicksilver, that moment, though. Nah, that moment was sick. He has, um, wings like an angel, that's why he gets the name Angel. He, um, people didn't like him, so he went into just, that like, wrestling mania with other mutants. As he literally just took out Blob in one punch, so. Appearing next is one of my favourites, and it's called, and he's called Havoc. Havoc is, um, pretty good. He showed up in X-Men First Class as a student. He, he has, um, a purple, red, um, flaming titanium ring around him that he can spawn in. And it's really powerful. As you can see, that's what he looks like, as I tried, but still. Guess who just showed up? Blob. Blob showed up in X Men. Um, what was it God? I mean, X Men Origins Wolverine, and he he's just a giant fat guy that has super strength and really likes Slurpees. So that's what his mutant power basically is. So yeah. So next is Angel. Another Angel, but different. In X Men First Class, we see her. She can spit out fire acid, and also sh she can turn her back into fairy wings. That's why she's called Angel, gets the name. That's her appearance in pretty much the exact same, so, yeah. dun dun dun, dun. we have Hank, a.k.a. Beast. Beast is, is Hank. Hank is Beast, you probably get the drill. When Hank, when Hank gets angry, he turns into Beast, as you can see, that's his Beast form. Hank has glasses, he's a scientist, he's super smart. His mutant power is like super strength and also he can turn into that. He has his coat and his um, like blue jeans as normal. And I think I've done pretty well with like the claws and how his he has a mane as well. 
Hank's one of the most greatest characters, I'm telling you, in the o in like X Men, Apocalypse, X Men First Class, and what else does you show? Oh, in Last Stand as well. But I think he looks better as young version. Oh, and also um, he made a he made a scene in Deadpool, I think, and also in um. What was it? What was it again? X Men: Days of Future Past. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Here we go here we go. We have Mr. Metal himself, aka Magneto, aka Eric Lencher. I put him in twenty one because again, um, he has a that's his appearance. He has a red helmet to block Charles um Xavier's thoughts, and also he has a cape, and he can control metal and make. Metal, um, what was it called? Magnetic fields. Next, we have Deadpool in 20. As you can see, he has his classic, um, Deadpool suit with his golden pistols that he stole. And also his katanas. And also he has regenerating powers. He's really good with swords. And, yeah, it's pretty cool, cool pretty cool indeed. Next, we have Katie. Um, she can walk through walls. She shows up in X Men Last Stand, X Men Two, and I think that's it. Oh yeah, in X Men Days of Future Past, she has the ability to walk through walls. She got clarified to be an X Men, and also um, she can send people back in time. So I mean, that's pretty cool. Next is Storm. She can control weather. She she um can. She got hired for the X Men. She's now a teacher. Um, she can turn herself into a tornado, make tornadoes, spawn in lightning, make sandstorms, um, literally break the rules of gravity, and do all sorts of things, to be fair. Next, we have Kurt, a.k.a. Nightcrawler. Um, he has a giant tail that he can use to stab. He has tattoos. He has blue skin. He has really 3D tattoos. He has black hair and he has, um, he can teleport, he's a teleporter, and he has a blue tigerish eye, eye pupil. Next we have Juggernaut, as you can see he has the appearance of really boxing fists, he's really strong, he has a red armour suit that's made out of titanium with some chains, and he's, he's pretty strong, he's like, he's like a... What are they called? Um, bulls. When you if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. That's a phrase. That's probably what Juggernaut uses all the time. It is mine. I bet it's running over his scalp. Bro, I said scalp. I meant to say scalp. Next, we have Wolverine with the with the um, what was it called? Antimentium claws. This is in his comics um look, and also in the new movie as well as on the front cover of it and he looks pretty sick i'll say i done pretty good on this so yeah he, he's a good appearance in 15 he has regenerating powers just like deadpool and i put him in father because he's really cool in the x-men movies and he's also appeared in every single one of them even first class even though again wait did he he didn't did he appear in apocalypse well, in the comics, he he did technically. He his one of his selves. His arm got blasted off by Cyclops in the apocalypse. So, I mean, I don't really know. Next, we have Iceman. He's in fourteen. He's pretty cool. He's he can turn himself into ice, and his normal human forms. He's his name's Bobby. And he's pretty sick. He can make ice out of his hands. He doesn't control ice. He ac actually can make ice, un unlike his brother. Yes, and Pyro and Iceman are brothers, a.k.a. Bobby. Now, one of my favourite characters, it's Cyclops with the laser eyes. This is him in the movies, not in the comics, with his um, blue and yellow suit. But he, uh, he's really sick. I need to say he's really powerful, and that's why I put him in 13. Next, we have Quicksilver. He can go as fast as 20 times faster than a bullet. So, that light, like, so fast. Um, He has goggles as well, and to protect his eyelids when he's running so fast. There was a cosmic explosion in Apocalypse when Alex tried to 
get um Xavier back. Um, but then he he um interrupted the one second bomb that exploded, and then the whole entire mansion was exploded in one second. Quick Silver came in handy and rescued all the students. But sadly, um, he was um Alex was really close to AK Havoc was really close to the explosion and died. But um, but Cyclops carried on the X Men origins. So good news for him. Really good news. Next, we have Darwin. Darwin is so cool. He can adapt to anything. For example, when he put his head in water in X Men First Class, um, his um his head turned well his neck brought gills so he could go in the water when he put his head in the fish tank another way when alex tried to defend him against sebastian against their plan um sebastian throwed it into backfired and fr- throwed it into um darwin's mouth that made him go crazy switching forms so at the first phase he turned he turned into an obsidian and as you can see, um, Havoc's ring went, um, went into Sebastian. Well, didn't, and then Sebastian caught it and then put it in his mouth. Then he turned into obsidian with some orange cracks representing lava. And then he t- literally turned into vibranium. No, I'm not even kidding. To try to adapt. His body adapts. Like, if he's in hot weather, he'll turn into ice. So it's really cool. Like this is basically what it looked like. To be fair, with his brown hair and stuff. So yeah. Next we have Jean. She can levitate stuff with her mind and also um, mind read. She so right now she's just like using her mind waves to float books, as you can see. So yeah, pretty cool. Here's Colossus. Colossus is a nine. He, he's pretty cool. He can turn his body into titanium. And he's pr- he's really strong. He's mutation. He can turn into titanium, basically. So yeah, I don't know who this guy is, but he turned up in X Men: Days of the Future Past, and he had like mud on his face, and he and he used his daggers with like um purple s- sparks out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed that it spent two days making this so hard so yeah thank you so much